everyone, Just for Sweets here. So today I'm going to make a really yummy recipe. Um, I have some leftover tri-tip that I had grilled and um, there is a local bar restaurant here that serves a pasta that is really, really yummy that everyone goes for. It is a pesto pasta with grilled tri-tip in it. I'm gonna make a really quick and easy version, a fast version of, of this recipe. Um, and show you just a simple idea that you can do for a dinner using leftovers or even if you want to grill your own tri-tip and do it that way. So we're going to get started. I've got the, the tri-tip ready to go. I've got the water boiling for the pasta and we're going to get making this dish. Okay, so I'm going to show you how easy this is. I have a pasta dish uh, that I'm going to mix everything in. I have, um, this is my pre-made pesto sauce. I get mine at Costco. You can make your own if you want to. Everything with me is usually about simplicity and making it easy because of the hours that I work. So I just go ahead and buy this one and it's really, really delicious and it goes a long way. I have my uh, Wild Tree Roasted Garlic Grapeseed Oil. I have their Rancher Steak Rub and I have their Absolutely Onion Blend. Um, I did marinate my meat in some of their oil and then their java rub. Now you um, can purchase all these on my Wild Tree website if you'd like to. I'll put the link in the box below and you can click on that. Go over and order what ingredients you want um, for, for your own pantry. Um, these are all uh, chemical free and certified organic. You can also sign up to be a Wild Tree uh, representative. I can't get my words out as usual. <laughs> uh, Wild Tree representative and it is $49.95 to do that and then you get a great kit to go with it. Um, I also have some black pepper and I have some Parmesan cheese. Now I will tell you that there are substitutions for these. Don't feel like you have to use the Wild Tree products if you don't want to. Um, there are garlic infused olive oils out there. Um, you may be able to find a garlic infused oil or if not then just use a little bit of olive oil if you like. I just added it for that extra garlic kick. Um, the Java Rub, you can go ahead and marinate your tri-tip in anything you'd like to. I'm using their Absolutely Onion Blend. You can use onion powder or dehydrated onions. And I'm using the Rancher Steak Rub. And basically, I don't know how to substitute anything for this, so I'd say some salt, pepper, and maybe some of the spices that you like. Um, we have one box of pasta that I went ahead and boiled and just boil your pasta according to the directions given on the box. I went ahead and drained it. I did not put oil in the water when I cooked it because um, I didn't want to make it extra oily because the pesto has oil plus I added some of my garlic grapeseed oil. So this pasta is fresh off the stove. Pour it directly into the bowl. I took some of my pesto sauce and I heated it up in a microwavable dish. And basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drizzle that on top. Now what I did with the garlic grapeseed oil, I used it to marinate my meat in, and I also um, added it to my pesto because I wanted to give it a little bit of extra garlicky flavor. So I put that in there. Now I am using a tri-tip that I cooked on the grill. This would be great if you wanted to use uh, Leftover steak, leftover tri-tip, leftover London broil. You could also uh, substitute this with a grilled chicken, uh, chicken breast, or any kind of chicken you want to use. You could buy even a rotisserie chicken and break it up inside of this. And uh, shrimp would go really well with this too. So um, I actually thought of this recipe because there's a local bar restaurant here. Actually, they only serve food on Wednesdays. They are really technically a bar. And they make a wonderful pesto pasta. And I thought, ooh, I, I could duplicate that. I could make it probably taste pretty darn close. So I'm thinking I want um, a little bit more pesto in there. And you just kind of twist it ever so gently with the tongs. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add all the rest of my pesto here. Now... Once you mix this in, if you think you need more, go ahead and mix some more in there. I'm not going to overdo it. Um, my family's not huge pesto lovers, so I don't want to overdo it. Okay, so I went ahead and tossed that in. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and add some of my Absolutely Onion Blend. Now, you can leave this out if you want to. Or, like I said, if you don't have the Wild Tree Absolutely Onion, you can go ahead and use dehydrated onion and some onion powder. I'm going to use approximately a teaspoon to a tablespoon. Um, it, does, it just depends on your preference. 
I'm also going to add a little bit of the rancher steak rub, which I told you is really hard to duplicate. Um, it's a salt, it's like a sea salt, a pepper. Um, there's some ground ginger in there. There's some ground garlic in there. I'm trying to see what else is in there. And cloves. I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff, but it has a really unique flavor and it goes well on so many different things. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of that in there. Now I did boil my pasta in salted water so that, whoop, there goes the lid. So it has some salted flavor. I'm also going to go ahead and we are going to throw some extra black pepper in there. Maybe about a half a teaspoon. I just kind of shake it. Okay. So again, we're going to go ahead. We're going to mix that in. This is a really yummy dish that you could serve uh, for a dinner party or if you were having some kind of like baby shower, bridal shower. This would also be a great dish if you were doing like a potluck for a wedding. Okay. Now I'm going to add a few little handfuls of Parmesan cheese. Give this one more stir. I'm thinking I want a little bit more of my oil in there. I want to give it just a little bit more glossiness and I don't want to add any more pesto. So I'm going to add about a, tables, a tablespoon of my garlic grapeseed oil. And then we're going to give that one little last push here. This, sell, this smells amazing. Okay. So there it is. Now then what you would do is I have my, I know I keep banging that, sorry. It's making music in my kitchen. Um, I have my tri-tip in my Tupperware. I cook it. This is how I let it steep after I cook it. It's all sliced and ready to go. I have it medium rare. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to place that on top. Now you can either mix this in or leave it right on top so people can grab the meat. This dish, I'll tell you, when I, whenever I used to go eat there, this is what everybody came there for. They were known for their grilled tri-tip and their pesto pasta. So why not try to duplicate it at home? I can serve my whole family with this tonight. There's the end of it. This was a small tri-tip too. This was one of my, um, my shopping hauls that I did, that I did a video for where I got this huge tri-tip that I cut into three different meals and this is the end of it. I'm going to also go ahead and pour my grilled juices in there because I think that just adds a little bit of extra flavor. And at this point, you can take some Parmesan and you can go ahead and you can toss that on the top. And you have yourself a wonderful dish. You saw how fast we made this. All you really need is so this is really simple to do. It's fast. Your family will love it. It makes a really good home cooked meal. And I'm doing this actually before I go to work today. So it's all ready. My family can come home, put it in a pasta dish and heat it up. Uh, like I said, I have my leftover or I have my tri-tip in there. Um, you can use leftover steak or any kind of beef or any kind of meat out there that you want to. Um, really great with chicken and also good with a um, shrimp as well. So simple recipe, inexpensive recipe, you know, when you're feeding a lot of people. Again, um, I use my wild tree ingredients and um, I got Parmesan cheese all over the counter here. No one said I was a, a clean cook. I, I get stuff everywhere, but then you're, you're not having fun if you're not, right? Okay, so you have your wild tree stuff and then, like I said, I have my pesto from, uh, from Costco. So I hope you get a chance to make this. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know um, how easy and simple it was. And if you have any twists or turns that you make for this recipe, I'd love to hear about those as well. So make sure you uh, share this on your Facebook page. Click on my Wild Tree link if you want to. Join my Facebook pages just for sweets or recipe book. Until next time, next video, have a wonderful day, everyone. God bless.